questions, Coach? Hey, what stood out on film when you went back and watched that game about the offense? Great opening first drive. We've had a couple. We, we really, uh, our first four games, we didn't do a very good job, you know, at, at coming out. And, and Alabama, we did. We sustained something. We had a chance. We put points on the board, and, and I thought that was really good. And then uh, we really had a chance that second drive, too. And, and again, it, it sounds like a broken record, but it comes back down to consistency. Then we go two plays, three and out, four and out. Then we get a nice 14-play drive. You know, so we, we just got to continue to be consistent in what we're doing. You know, um, we got to get better in a lot of areas. That's great about a, a bye week and, and what we're doing. You uh, can work on fundamentals. You can work on technique, Stephen, our passing game with our receivers and our protection and our, everybody that's involved in that, working on concepts, working on our reads, seeing the defense, giving him more stuff and more stuff so he continues to get comfortable and, and gets better. So it's a, it's a great time uh, for this to be happening. Stephen ran the ball a little more Saturday. Was that kind of what the defense gave him, or is that something that you want to see them do more of? Well, it's what the defense gives you on some of our stuff with the with the read game, uh, and then uh, you know in the pocket being a little bit more comfortable and sitting in there and stepping up and throwing. Some of them he didn't have a chance to step up and throw, and he got us some first downs by running the ball. But uh, some of it for what we do uh, allows him to run the ball. Uh, for example, the touchdown that he scored, uh, great read. Made a great decision, and those things I think he's doing very well. Stephen said afterwards he, he thought, without looking at the tape yet, he, looked, he thought his footwork probably wasn't what it was supposed to be. Is that what showed on film? Yeah, I think you, you know him getting comfortable moving a little bit to the left too quick. You know, uh, he had a tendency of doing that, but uh, and, and those are the things that, that we're working on right now. I mean, you got a lot of time to, to get that corrected, and uh, I know that he is uh, he is a great competitor. He is, he is doing everything he can. But what you don't want to do is you want him to press. You don't want him to get to where he's he's afraid. And, 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 and I, don't, I don't want him to be that. I want him to go out there and play. Uh, and, and I believe he'll do that. I, I really do. Uh, he threw the ball really well today in 7-on-7. Seven seven and that was really good to see. Is he too hard on himself? Do you, do you run into that player too hard on himself? Yeah, I think you are. And I think you've got to be a fine balancer. You know? I think you've got to have a balance of making sure. I always talk about short-term memories. Boy, at that position, you better have a short-term memory. You know, it's like the corner position, right? It's like that left tackle position. You got to move forward. It, it's time. There's another one. I mean, this is the. Uh, you know, we got Mississippi State coming. You know, so you got to be. You, you just got that. That one's done now. We put it to rest, and and we've got a great opportunity here to get better fundamentally. Did Dorian Baker show any signs of rust on film when you went back and watched it? Uh, a, a little bit, uh, but I tell you what he did is he competed and he got after it and he was physical. I really saw some good things out there today, too. He looks like he's back full speed. Uh, and, and he ended up getting 30-plus reps, uh, which was good for his first time back. So uh, that was that was great. Eddie, was Benny Snell on your radar as a recruit at Cincinnati? Or was he, he your first exposure? He, he was, recruit? absolutely. He came up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was. What did you see of him there? And then when you got here and he was committed, what were your first kind of impressions of him? Well, well I got to go watch him play basketball. And uh, after I went and watched him, what you saw on film was you just said, gosh, this guy makes a lot of yards and he, 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 make, he busts a lot of tackles, a lot like Rudy Johnson was when I had Rudy at uh, um, Cincinnati. You, you worried about the speed. But you know what? Rudy Johnson rushed for 1,600 yards, uh, and, and he just broke tackles, and, and he was able to make jump cuts. And uh, that, that's the back that Benny is, you know. And when I got to see him play basketball, you could see his explosiveness. Uh, in gym shorts and how he played defense and his tenacity and that's what I liked. I, I watched him and I like to see how they compete in another sport. Did he run anybody over in basketball? <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> he, he bangs in there though. Uh, but I did. I loved his competition. But yeah, he was throwing some chicken wings and, and, and getting after it. What did you like about the way JoJo ran in the last game? Uh, Downhill and made a great job when he bounced that one outside, showed us a little bit of speed. You know, I give him a hard time, you know, because I tell him he can't run. Uh, but uh, that was a, I mean, a huge play in the game, you know, when, when he bounced that out. Those you usually don't do that uh, in the play that we had, but uh, he made something happen. And, and uh, uh, I'm, you know, he's getting kind of feeling a little bit better now. And I think his body is full speed now, and he's getting into a little rhythm. What do you think just makes the Wildcats so hard to defend? And is it something specific he does in that? No, I, I think that you can, you know, that's as, as we self-scout right now, you know, we get to now reevaluate what's been good, what's been bad, how can we change things 
uh, the things that have been good, uh, you know, because they're seeing the same stuff we're seeing, and, and that's what this week's for. Uh, so I think as you change things up, we've motioned in that thing different ways. We've formationed it uh, so we can do more things to help it. And, uh, it just uh, it, it causes grief sometimes uh, for, for defensive coordinators, you know, uh, to, if you can get in the formation and, and gap them out a little bit and, uh, you know, if they blitz, they can get you sometimes, but at the same time, you get big plays too if, if, if we're doing what we're supposed to do. As you evaluate what's been good and what's been bad, do you also add things that maybe you haven't run this year so far that, that maybe going forward would be? Absolutely. Absolutely you do. Uh, you got to be careful there. Uh, but I, I think you have to. You got to. You got to evolve, uh, and then you got to see the stuff that you failed at, and, and, and what has been bad, and you've either got to fix it or you got to cut it out, and, and you got to move forward. And so that's that's we've got some good information. We really do on the good part and the bad part. How has Ben Williams responded since Saturday? Unbelievable. He had a, he had a great practice. Uh, unbelievable in the film room today, uh, and uh, you know I. It had nothing to do with anything except those two other guys were rolling. They had a, they were going, and we were, we were, we had a nice little rhythm. Uh, he, he's going to be, he's going to be just fine. I'm excited, as a matter of fact, to, to see him in the next game. Let me you say that, coach. You know, you know the attitude that's out there. Let me you say that. I mean, I'm getting those questions. Are you? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Love boom. Love, love Benny. Love everybody on our team. <laughs> and, and, and we won the game. And, He's excited about that, and uh, it's going to be some the things that happen, and he'll recover, and he already has, and it's time to move on. You know, that's the one thing about me. I told our guys earlier, I got short-term memories, and, you know, he's not going to be the first one or the last one. It's not going to be the last one that happens, you know. Again, uh, if I could have put him in that next three series from there or whatever, okay, I could have. But, you know, we were on a roll. We were going. So it just had nothing to do with anything else. You said at the beginning of the year, we got the hot hand. Yes, sir. I did. Am I good?